This is a review for my replica or reproduction pH gas hood. Um, it's a reproduction of the essentially the first gas mask used by the British Army in World War One, and it's not really a gas mask per se as we know them today. It was um, a cloth hood basically, and um, the cloth was like a flannel material, and they soaked the hood in. Um, chemicals that would neutralize alkali gases like chlorine and well to neutralize chlorine gas and then um, what would happen is you'd breathe through essentially the flannel and then you'd exhale with the exhale valve which is here and the idea was that the chemicals on the mask as you breathe through them would neutralize the gas and then you'd exhale through that valve and it would protect you and um, it worked quite well surprisingly uh, so this was basically a 12 pound reproduction I got off on eBay um, got off of eBay it's quite decent for that price um, to be honest there was a more expensive one but I got this one as it's a reproduction so I don't generally spend too much on reproductions um, so it's sort of a cloth material sort of the same material you'd make socks out of um, but it looks good enough quite a nice exhale valve on here I don't think it's quite airtight but that doesn't really matter because it's not for obviously functional use and then it's got the two eyepieces on there which is nice because they've actually got plastic in them only bad thing is the plastic does seem a bit like it could break easily but it was only a cheap reproduction so I'm not going to complain and it fits quite well and everything as well it came in this box um, the mask was originally wrapped up in the box so there's a thing which says British World War One PHG gas hood reproduction. Da, 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 da. Um, what's interesting here is they're normally just called PH gas hoods, but for some reason here it's called PHG gas hood. So I don't know if that's the name of the company that made the reproduction. And then um, there's just an information sheet on there about them where it says about you know smoke helmets, hypo helmets, tube helmets, and it's just like an operating instructions thing that they would have been issued. Yeah, overall, for a cheap reproduction, this is very nice. Um, I recommend you get one. In the video description, I'll link to the eBay seller page where I bought it, so anybody who he'll ship to, obviously, can buy one if they want to. And I'll quickly show you the mask on. Now we have it with the hood on. It said on the instructions in there that if you um, bite on the exhale valve, that's how they've actually worn it, so I can do that. says um, obviously you tuck it into your coat so the flannel makes an airtight seal over the face that's what I've done and I hope this has been interesting and yeah it's worth getting one of these if you can see them they're quite good reproductions thanks for watching